What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Hickor Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're out here in the beautiful Marion, Virginia, and we're actually on a private golf course you can see here. Got a beautiful little stream here behind us or a little river system coming through. And if you look off over to my left, you'll see there's a pump house right over there. And what we've been hired to do is actually go inside the pump house and rappel down into the well, the wet well system, and do a quick inspection of it and also to clean out any debris and things like that. We're also going to be jumping in the river here in a little bit and inspecting the water intake there too, just to make sure everything's good with it. But we've got a busy day ahead of us, so we're going to go ahead and jump in. Hopefully you guys will learn from this video. And of course, I'll give you some final thoughts at the end. crawl through and have a ladder on this side. So to start this job out, the first thing we're trying to do is figure out how to get down into the wet well itself. Thankfully, there is a ladder here that we can utilize. It's a six foot ladder and it's tied off by a rope, so it's gonna make it easy getting in and out. But we can also judge distance by that or judge depth, if you will. Um, I can just get a visual reference of how deep the well is down to the water's edge or the water surface. And then of course I can use the ladder as a measuring device as well to see how deep it is. But once we get it installed down at the bottom, make sure it's nice and secure and just to make sure we can get back out out of it, then we'll kind of get a game plan together of who's going to jump in and head down into the well to do the work. It's at least six foot deep. Got a light, ain't got a light, dude. <laughs> you see a light above your head or anything, bro? Uh -uh. Let's see a flashlight. Well, we know the water is at least six foot deep. My question is, is how do we get to six foot to the top of the ladder? All right. All right. So instead of going in there, I think we should climb through here. Okay. We'll sit on this ledge right here. All right. I've already got the ladder put in place for you. And I think what we'll do is I'll be your safety sitting here. You can either sit down and try to step on that coupling right there or turn around and face and ease yourself down in. Step on the coupling on the ladder. Then I'm gonna hand you an air supply down. You can go under, see what you can see, bring up debris or whatnot. When you come back out, climb up the ladder, step on the coupling, we'll help pull you up and then we can pull the ladder out right here. Will that work? Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let's go get geared up. All right. You good? Yeah, I'm just gonna try to find the power button on the top of this thing and turn it on. All right, hold on before you try to get in there. Yep. And I'll come help you with the lights. Okay. 
guys, I know this goes without saying, but if you are not comfortable in confined spaces, please don't try this. As a matter of fact, unless you're properly trained, do not try this at home. Uh, this is something we do on a pretty regular basis. Our guys are trained for this. Uh, we are all firefighter, police officers, rescue personnel, and military personnel as well, so we're used to working in confined spaces. We do have the proper training for this as well, so please don't try this at home. But basically what my diver here is doing is he is going down to the bottom. Uh, we are going to check the overall depth and the condition of the bottom of the wet well, well and just clean it out for him. We know that there's debris in the bottom and we just want to see what's down there and get it up and out. That way they can get their irrigation system back up and running. Shimmy all the way to the bottom of the ladder. Watch out for the rope in the ladder. Okay. And fill around with your feet. It's going to get mucky pretty quick. Okay. So fill around your feet so we can get a general idea of just how deep it is mm -hmm. for you. Okay. Because we may have to move the ladder out of play while you're working. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then come up and tell us kind of what you feel down there so we have a general idea of what they're trying to clean out. Okay. As you can see here, the visibility is really not that bad. This is, of course, until he starts stirring it up. Uh, but there you can see some of the leaves and stuff that we're getting out of there uh, and just some of the debris that we're trying to clean up. I was going to say, if there's anything like a flat shovel or a small bucket that you can drop down. To where I can just pack uh, stuff yeah, in as I go. I thought I'd say the bucket right there. Buckets or something. Or a rope. All right. I'm going to. Sorry, tied off too, Jeremy. So. Okay. There we go. We'll just let it hang right there and you just drop it in there. As I'm going to do a little montage here for you because this actually takes a while. We were probably down here in this well for an hour and a half to do about two hours. Uh, and then of course halfway through it we swapped out divers just to give our uh, first diver here a break. But I'm just going to speed things up a little bit for you and uh, kind of give you an overall of what we were doing. So now we're taking our first little break here and we're actually going to swap divers out. Uh, we're going to put our second diver down in there now and let him just kind of continue on with what the first diver was doing. Um, anytime you do work like this, if you're new to this style of diving or whatnot, take your time. There's absolutely no need to rush while doing this. Uh, we knew going into this that it was going to take quite a while to actually clean this well system out. Um, but just take your time, be safe, and have fun while doing it. Went from writing speeding tickets to doing this.
now that my guys had a little bit of play time down in the well, it's time to get back to work and jump down into the creek area and inspect the intake. Basically what the intake area is, it's uh, just a water intake. It's got a pipe with a grate over the end. And it's where the um, customer here sucks the water out of the creek area into the wet well. And then, of course, the pump inside the wet well is what feeds the irrigation system. But I'm going to walk down to the water's edge here and meet up with the other diver and jump in, do a quick inspection of the intake itself just to see if there's any damage or see if it's uh, got anything stuck up inside it on this end and then of course we can uh, get it fixed if we find anything. A quick note real quick if you can't tell that water is actually ripping so we're we're having to struggle a little bit with the current while we're working here as well. Well it's yours now. Pour it out drowned. <laughs> Finders keepers. He got tangled up something y'all want to keep there. Hell, the deer might be up in the intake. Well, found bone, his leg bone right over there. That's, that's a pretty good one. Oh, you got this taken, we check skull. Well, yeah. they ain't got no skull. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they always pull up some good skull. Well, oh, that's a stranger that's over here. Yeah. So now that we're underwater, we're just going to do a quick inspection as, of the intake. As you can see, the grate has just been mangled. And if you look up in there, you'll see it's just packed full of rocks and sand and debris. And I would venture to say that this is what's causing all the problems and not allowing enough water to come through. Um, so we're going to try to get this grate off for them, try to clean out the intake a little bit for them as well. And then once the water starts to calm down and they get a new grate system built, then we'll come back at a later date and actually install it. But if you can't tell, once again, the current's actually ripping through here and we're having to hold on pretty much for dear life uh, and still try to operate at the same time. Uh, we're right now we're trying to determine how are we going to remove um, the grate system. Basically, it's, it's these long bolts that kind of hold the grate in place. It's got a metal plate over the end and, of course, it's held in by uh, nuts on the back side of the the coupling the area there so we're going to try just holding it with a set of vice scripts trying to unnut it here see if we can get it off uh, if that doesn't work then we'll, we'll resort to other measures um, of course we'll we'll try to cut it off if we can and of course that's what we're doing so we've got a hacksaw here and once again trying to fight this current and hold that hacksaw in place and bear in mind this water is fairly cold it's about 45 degrees uh, in the water and it's just ripping through there so it's it's relatively cold on us here uh, let alone the fact we've been working for over two hours inside of a wet well system that's very cold but we're struggling a little bit to be honest with you and it's it's kind of a struggle to to get this to cut and get that saw to stay in place as you can see i'm kind of holding the saw with my left hand as the other diver is trying to, to cut it at the same time I'm just providing it as a guide um, here I've kind of taken over and sometimes you just gotta manhandle it here so I'm just kind of cutting for everything I can and trying to pry it up and get it off and we've actually got four of these long bolts to actually cut through uh, just to remove the grate but uh, as I continue on, you can see I'm struggling a little bit. One, one thing you'll notice, you don't see my left hand. That's because literally I'm, I'm hanging on with my left hand, and the current's just kind of got me flapping like a, a flag in the wind. But now that we got them off, uh, we're going to just do a quick little clean out of the intake, and we're just going to do it at arm's reach, uh, just as far up in there as we can reach. Once the current calms down, this is something we can come back to at a later date and reach up in there with a, a rake or some type of system where we can pull all those rocks out. Uh, we actually asked them at one point in time if they could back flush this system and they said they couldn't. So it's just one of those things where we've got to reach up in there and clean it out the best we can. But for temporary purposes, now that we've got the grade off, uh, what we're going to do is replace the metal end cap over it. And this is just going to keep any major or large critters out of the intake. And if we leave it cracked just enough, they should still be able to utilize the intake somewhat to take in a little bit of water without getting too much debris in there. But I know we got at least an arm's length uh, worth of rock out of there, and it was packed full. So um, hopefully they'll be able to use it temporarily, um, of course until we can get back down there and reinstall another grate for them.
All right guys, so we just got finished up, got out of the water. Uh, we had a very challenging dive today. I ended up putting two of my other guys in down into the well. They're a little bit smaller than me. They were able to get in there, get it cleaned out really good for them. And then we actually jumped down in the river itself and we looked at the intake to see what was clogging it up. Basically, it was just a bunch of rocks. The water had pretty much mangled up the grate and it allowed rocks and debris to get up in there. So they're gonna have to get that uh, fixed up, but they're gonna probably have to wait until the water is a little bit more calmer so that we can get in there and reinstall the grate for them. But yeah, it was a very interesting dive today, a uh, very challenging dive, but we got in there, we knocked it out where we needed to. But now we're gonna go get a bite to eat, it's very cold. If you like this video, do me a huge favor. Give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always guys, we appreciate your business.